So what's up, guys? Uh, as everyone knows, the Xbox One reveal came out uh, not too long ago, and everyone else has been making videos about it, so I guess it's our turn. Yes. So <laughs> we, uh, we started making a list of all the crap that we found to be, you know, cons and pros, I guess. So, um, yeah, show them the list. We've got, I mean, we've got a piece of paper. We're writing it down right now, right as it's we're making It's pretty heavy on the con side so far. <laughs> yeah. It's a little one-sided. <laughs> Just a little. Um, so, yeah, go ahead, I guess. Well, start, start off with the crap. Me, personally, I, I was excited for the reveal. Um, I was, too, man. You know, and I think I was like sitting there watching it, you know, excited. And they they showed the console, and I thought, you know, it looks pretty cool. I like the way it looked. I, I'm glad it wasn't white because <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I like black consoles better. Yeah, I, I like racist. I like it because it looks like a, uh, you know, a piece of your audio component. Thing like a it's something like that, a Blu-ray player or something. It's something that like yeah, an adult would want to showcase on their entertainment center. Yeah, like a it high looks end cool. Blu-ray it, player yeah. or something like that. Uh, it's like half half matte, half shiny. I don't know. It's, it's so that, that's one of the pros, you know, the, the, the appearance ones. of the console. It looked pretty cool. I thought uh, the controller yeah, looks slick. Yeah, the, the controller, controller really, looked really really cool. I like the fact that they put the big X button. Like, you have a controller. Yeah. Like, I hate when I'm trying to press start or something, or, like, back, you know, on a game that, like, say Resident Evil, you need to press start to go to the menu to, like, select your guns, and you accidentally hit the big X button, that annoys the crap out of me. Yeah. I love that they put it up here now. That's so much more convenient. Let me see it. So much more convenient. Another pro on the controller is that they've they've in, improved the uh, D-pad. Like, I don't like this D-pad. Mm -mm. It's... It's more like an Nintendo Weird. D pad now. Yes, it's, it's, it's a, like it's a cross D pad. Obviously, now. we haven't touched it. Instead of a, a circle, instead of a disc, it's a, a circle. It's an, actual, <laughs> it's an actual cross. And you know, they were talking about getting moving, getting rid of the the battery pack here. Yeah, Which, I don't know how I feel. About that doesn't that. bother me at all. I, I I wonder what they're gonna do. I have instead. I don't really know why they need to do that. I mean, it doesn't bother my. The 360 the controller, controller was one of the best ones ever made. This one in the GameCube, my two favorites ever, just the way it feels. Yeah. So as long as, I mean, it looked pretty similar. So as long as they keep the same functionality design and all that good stuff with the controller, I'm cool. I don't know if I like the new it. bumper buttons they have. They looked really... They big. look kind of awkward. They kind of look like they almost are the, the same as the trigger buttons, but I do like how they have the force feedback in the new trigger. Yeah, that was something that might come in handy. So there's that. Oh, well, I mean, just to get back to uh, when we were, were watching the reveal, you know, I was excited and, you know, I kept waiting for them to show some games, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kept, I kept thinking, you know, 30 minutes has gone by and I haven't seen a game yet. And I was just, I, that's, at, at that point, I, I knew that I was going to be disappointed. Yeah, I thought you know how much longer is this gonna last? I, I don't think it's gonna last much longer. When okay, like I'm a big Xbox fan. Like I used to be like a fanboy, fanboy. Where like I don't know when it came to the 360 PS3 and when it first came out, I was like, no, no, screw the PS3, dude. Xbox all the way. I was like one of those <laughs> fags, yeah, one of those dude fags trolling it up, <laughs> but. Uh, then, after a while, I realized that the PS3 is just as good. I mean, it's got even some better stuff. Like, it has the Blu-ray player, and it has free online play. Right. Those are pluses. So, like, after a while, I became not so much a fanboy, but... <laughs> we, like you were saying, but there was no games. Like, the Xbox is a gaming console, dude. And the original Xbox, like, that, that era with the PS2 and the GameCube, one of the best, like, gaming times right. for me. Um, and the original Xbox was so sick. The only the only other thing you could really do was get online, and all you could do online was play games. So that was good, right? That was a good functionality for it. And then all you could do was like rip music CDs onto it. That was all the other things you could do. So literally it was a gaming console and nothing else. You could watch DVDs on it. Okay. If you had to plug in. Yeah. Right. Which I do, but you know, whatever. Anyways... 
That was all it had, it was games, you know. And then the 360 came out, and it was games for like the first two years, and then it went into everything else. Yeah, and then, once they changed the uh, the online, or the, the, the interface, when they went to the avatars. And the, yep, that's when everything... It became the whole, more about entertainment, more, but it was still games. Yeah. And now it's looking like the Xbox One is just going completely away from its roots and it's not a gaming console anymore it's just not it's an entertainment console that you can happen to play games with. <laughs> if you want sometimes if you pay enough money so the appearance of the console and the controller are two of the pros another pro is the uh, new television series the the halo series that they announced you know that that'll be pretty cool but could be a caveat with that because the, when the lady was talking about it, she mentioned it being a premium service. So does that mean, <laughs> on top of Xbox Live Gold, you have to do you have to pay like a pay per view type thing, like pay per Man. episode to watch? I really hope not. I really, really hope not. Xbox Live is as expensive as it is. I have like a feeling me. that since Steven still still works involved, that. It will probably. It's gonna cost. He likes this. It's gonna cost, <laughs> like depending on the length of the episode. I'm I'm gonna say it's gonna cost five dollars an episode. Man, cause see that sucks for me because I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna have to pay that because I'm a huge Halo fan. So I'm gonna have to pay that because I, I want to watch it. I can't. Either see that it. Or I'm gonna pirate it somehow. I can't see it being free. Man, yeah, I, yeah. Just like <laughs> just like having Netflix. On Xbox Live Gold, you have to pay the Netflix. Fee. You yeah, have okay. to pay. Yeah, yeah. Have to pay It'll be like that, fee. probably. Probably stupid. I, I mean, it, maybe it won't, but I know a lot of people's not really excited about it. But the, I watched the Forward Into Dawn movie the other night on Netflix. It's pretty good. Dude, yeah, that thing is. Yeah, that so freaking awesome. I watched the series. You get Steven Spielberg involved with it. It'll probably it be, be better. Good. Than the, it should be. Yeah. It'll be like the Halo movie that we want, probably. Just episodic. Those are literally all the pros. That's all the pros we can think of. <laughs> Isn't that sad? <laughs> That's so sad. Like what? Remember the name you gave it instead of the Xbox One? The Xbox No One? <laughs> <laughs> because no one will buy it. <laughs> this is why. Here we go. Here's cons. Okay. The biggest, <laughs> one, one of, not the biggest con for me, but a really big con is they were pushing it to be like, you know, TiVo? Like the cable box. Not, not really TiVo because the hard drive is not going to be uh, recording your programs. Yeah. It's basically, with the way they have it designed, it's a front end for your cable box, so you don't have to use your remote. And you have to use voice commands and uh, gestures. Like, the gestures would be cool if there was a holographic image in front of you, like, say, on Minority Report. You know? Yeah, right. But I don't want to wave my hands around and that nothing. <laughs> Xbox, go fuck yourself. Like, hang on just one second. <laughs> How is this and all this stuff easier than pressing a button? I mean, come on. <laughs> Why? Who, when you're going to watch TV or a movie, you don't want to be doing all this stuff. You just want to kick back on your couch or your chair and, you know, just press a couple of buttons. Nobody wants to sit there and argue with their Xbox right. about what it wants to do. I mean, come on. Who, nobody wants to do that. They, they're totally off on that. Like, nobody wants to do that with the other Kinects. Right. Yeah, right. Like, mm, yeah. I don't know. That's just not good. Like you were saying, though, uh, you said hard drive about it not recording, you know? And that reminded me. It's only a 500... You get hard drive. hard drive like that's pretty small. Like I mean, it's for what for what they're trying to do with it. They should at least give like a terabyte. I think. I, I know that's pushing it. But I think like, it should be more because another thing that I forgot to put on our list is that you can actually record footage of your games you're playing. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about that. So, so yeah, you will need a lot. That more. could be a pro you know, two at least. Then, but at the same time, it's a con because the hard drive's not big enough, and they haven't announced like you know upgrading the hard drive. Yeah, and do you have to buy their hard drive, or can you put any hard drive in it? Because five hundred with installing games, downloadable stuff. 
uh, it's going to go up, like, it's going to get used real quick, like, really quick. Microsoft doesn't have a good track record of letting people install any hard drive. You have to buy theirs. Yeah. Unless you mod the system. <laughs> or be like me, you went on eBay and then have to mod your own hard drive right. yourself. Yeah. Retarded. And, um, <laughs> you know, another thing about the, uh, the recording the game footage thing, uh, they said that you would be able to store it on the cloud, so I guess that takes care of... Why are they pushing the cloud so hard, man? The hard drive? They're that, pushing that so what, hard. What makes me think why this is going to be a con is because if, it, if you're uploading it to the cloud... You know, you have to have a super fast connection for that. Yeah, I super don't. fast upload speed. You, which you I don't. I have, <laughs> I have a decent download speed, but my upload speed is crap. Mine's like point two. Mine's like point five. <laughs> there you go. And um, you know, if you're uploading it to the cloud, are you going to be able to share that on YouTube, or is it just going to be on the cloud? To just share or share on Xbox Live? Yeah, right. Like kind of like with the the Bungie files for Halo, you know, like what I'm talking about, where you, like, save your clips on Halo, and then, like, you yeah. can watch it later on Bungie's site, and that kind of stuff. It's probably going to be similar. It'll to be that. like that, probably. But, uh, yeah. Alright, another con for me, and I guess for you two, is all of the EA Sports stuff. Sports games were cool when I was, like, 12. Sports games were cool on the 16-bit consoles, <laughs> and then after that, they yeah. try to make like, them too EA realistic, game. and they just lost... For me, they lost yeah, the blitz. appeal. Like I, I tend to like the more arcadey feeling. I, got, I do games. too. Like now they're getting into where it's like, oh, you can see their sweat on them, and, right? You know, Who cares? you can smell Shaq's feet <laughs> while he's on the free throw line. You know, like, we just got through playing Punch Out on the Wii, and that's a really fun arcade sports game. It's like over the top, but like it's not realistic at all. Yeah, it's. It's just fun. Right. That's, that's what you want in games. You don't want, like, real life. The whole reason you play games is to get away from real life, right? It's to have an experience in another world type of thing. You don't want to, like, sit there and be like, oh, look, LeBron James just scored, you know, 30 points. Oh, I just saw that on SportsCenter, too. But now I, now I can play it and actually do it myself. Right? Uh -huh. I haven't played an EA Sports game since I had I, since the Sega Genesis era of the, of the early 90s. I think the last time I played was probably, like, 2006. Yeah, and I, NBA. I take that back. I, I I did play Madden. I have Madden on uh, Madden. my PlayStation One, and it, it's fun. It's it's more advanced than what what was on the Genesis. I, I did play Madden, I think, on the original Xbox, but I didn't own it. I played it somewhere else. It was okay. I mean, it kind of feels the same, but then again, I don't. There's just something about it that's not the same. Like one of the, the funnest sports games that that I've ever played is the original NHL hockey from EA Sports on the Sega Genesis. It was really fun. And I made it a point in my collecting to uh, to actually go find that game. I mean, it wasn't hard to find, but I wanted it in my collection, even though it's a sports game. I, it's That's a really good game. Yeah. All right, yeah, we, we really don't care about the EA Sports. I, and they're, I know they're they have a deal with them. It's like, who cares? Whatever. I like, think that's good why them, yeah. EA is like, crapping all over the Nintendo Wii U. right now because they have this exclusive deal with Microsoft and you know and see for me like even though the Wii U is doing bad right now I really don't see that hurting them I really don't see no. it because I don't play Nintendo to play sports games anyways like I, I play a sports game on one of the other consoles I play Nintendo for the, the good stuff like Mario and Zelda and but there is a huge like that, market Smash Brothers. for sports games but the people that I mean, not not everyone, but a lot of people that play sports games, they will buy a console just to play Madden only. Yeah. Like all the time. They'll just go buy a 360 to go play Madden. They're like the hardcore sports people that right. just play sports games only. And if they're like that, then they won't want the Nintendo because it's childish to them. <laughs> so, yeah. So, along with the... The EA Sports. The EA Sports, there was a... Some kind of game called Quantum something. Yeah, that's like used, uh, used like a live action video and people we've never seen before. And then some little girl like made a boat like jump into time or something <laughs> and like crash into the bridge before it could open, I guess. Ooh, fascinating. Um, they really didn't show enough of that to get excited about. 
There was only yeah. other two other games they showed, and I was like, Forza and Dog yeah. of Booty. They showed, they showed pre-rendered cutscenes of Forza. Of Forza, not, not no game That's not gameplay. <laughs> that was just a pre-rendered trailer. I mean, if the game looks like that, it'd be pretty cool, but you could tell it was pre-rendered. Yeah, yeah no, there's no way. Actually, I, I mean, I'm not a big Call of Duty fan. I I really like the original Call of Duty, but... Uh, the old, old ones. Yeah, the original World War II Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. I have played Call of Duty Black Ops 2 a little bit. I mean, it's it's not bad. I had fun with it. I played multiplayer. I just hate the community. A bit. I think I hate... I think the reason I hate Call of Duty is because it's the same game every year and the community. I just right. cannot stand them. The little kids just bitching at you. Right. All the time, I can't do it. Well, I'm not an online player, so like, if I were to play Call of Duty, that wouldn't affect me. Yeah. But you know, I mean, there's no story though, really. The game play. did. It's just the game did look online. really good. I thought, yeah. but I mean, it didn't look any better than what they showed for the, the PS4. Yeah. Like the graphics, they tried to showcase graphics for Ghost, Is that, that the Ghost, Ghost? Yeah. and then they were showing. Modern Warfare 3, which, like, I remember you saying, why did they show Modern Warfare 3 instead of Black Ops 2? Right. Because the graphics are going to be so different because of the time. Mm-hmm. Because Black Ops 2 came out after. So you would think they would show that to compare, because it's like, oh, here was the newest we have, now here's, like, the new new. Right. But I was like, it's probably because they didn't develop Ghost, because it's different people. It's Treyarch and whoever else right and so those two switch off and I was like that, that may be why but we really didn't know so we were like why are they showing this outdated dog and now they're showing this <laughs> outdated dog again <laughs> I don't know the I mean they're trying to showcase the graphics in that trailer um you know they were, were they were really pretty but if you want to impress me with graphics show me gameplay Right. I don't care about... Anyone can have good cutscenes. I could watch Final Fantasy X cutscenes on the PS2 and be amazed at their pre-rendered crap, okay? We like, can, show me in-game. You, you can tell it. that the, like ghost, the ghost trailer wasn't pre-rendered. I mean, yeah. it might have been all trailers, but you could tell it was in-engine by the way they were showing like the development of it and everything. Um, I don't know. It just wasn't enough to get me excited. I know a lot of people have been talking about the dog in the motion capture suit. That was freaking Like, hilarious. Battlefield 3 still looks better than what they showed for what I saw, anyways. It was like, it's on par. Uh, yeah, they I don't get it. Like, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Um, the that's always pretty on. much all the games they showed, so yeah, we were pretty disappointed <laughs> yeah. in the games. The always on and the used game things are the two biggest like debates going on with this console right now. Yeah. Um, Even though it's not completely final, they have said it's going to happen, but I mean, the console's not out yet, so they could they could change their mind if they saw that their stocks went down and everyone else's went up. Yeah, you know, all the complaints, you know. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised at E3 if they change some of that stuff because they've gotten so much negative press about it. And that's another thing, before we like we get started with the games, we, we realized that was just a reveal of the console itself, not E3, where they show all the games and everything else that you're supposed to be like getting excited for, anticipated. That was just literally a console reveal, but then we expected some games. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Okay, but anyway. Something more exciting than sports. <laughs> Call of <And> TV. <laughs> right. Um... But the used games thing? Yeah, the DRM that they want to put on the games, which is digital rights management. Uh, Not cool. To charge a fee for a used game, which basically I heard an interview with uh, that Adam Sessler did on Rev3 Games. Adam's and the, the man. The guy basically said that the, uh, the fee that you're going to have to pay is going to make the game equal to full price of the game brand new. And I, I swear I heard this guy say that. That's so, so terrible. Say you go to GameStop and you buy the used copy for $30. <laughs> well, your fee you're going to have to pay is going to make that game equal to the price like of 60. the game new. Yeah. So another $30 on top of that. I mean... I'm like, hey, Gary, look. I just bought 
Sonic Generations, and I just got through beating the story on my, you know, account. You want you want to play it on your account, <laughs> on, on your Xbox? You want to? All right, pay pay sixty dollars to right. buy yourself. Yeah, well, I don't. I, I really don't see that working. Uh, I mean, what what would be the point in the used game if it's going to cost as much as a new game? Uh, who who's going to want to buy a used disc that may be scratched and may not work? For the same price of a new for the same one. price of a new game. I mean, I don't know for sure that they're they're going to do that. I know that that guy said that it would be that you're paying for the bits on the disc and not the disc itself. <laughs> That's what they're selling. Is this is basically what he said? He said they're selling the game, not the physical copy. So what would be the point? Okay. So they should uh, just make everything downloadable. <laughs> what would be the point in GameStop? Uh, <laughs> like carrying or any store carrying a used di- a, a used disc when you just could just buy the new one like what's the point of GameStop existing <laughs> if right that's uh, why their stocks went down too whenever the Xbox One stocks went down because everyone was like well there goes the used game market right because let's face it we all know that more people have 360s than PS3s and Wii's you know for that generation so they know that, you know, more people are going to be Xbox One just because it's in their nature, so. Um, the always on? Well, uh, let me talk about the games more. Like, the used games. At first, it was, like, a huge issue for me, because I'm cheap. Dude, I'm so cheap, too. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of money, yeah, so. Yeah, we don't. If I want to get one game to play and pay full price for it, brand new, I'm only going to have that one game for several months. Mm-hmm. So. 60 bucks is a lot to, pay to go for one game, but I can go get like 10 of those. Yeah, I can I can go buy a lot of these games for that. Like old ones. But, you know, I, I can understand what they want to do. It's If they want to charge a, a brand new price for, for their games like all the time and they don't want to support used games. I can see where they're going with that. They want to keep the video game industry afloat and not not let it go under. And I'm I'm pretty much all for that. Like I'm for not like I don't want the video. I know Microsoft's never going to go under. No, because they no, have a lot of money. money. But developers that like that make the games that are not working at Microsoft, say for like a smaller company, like Super Meat Boy, like Team Meat. I don't want them to go out just because. Well, that's a that's yeah. another that's another thing we need to talk about on on here too. Is publish like the small indie, yeah, indie, indie games publishers. Um, you know, I I had a huge issue with the the used game deal at first, but you know, I thought if they're gonna do this, and I'm interested in any of the games on the system, if I ever decide to buy it down the road somewhere, mm-hmm. I'll just wait and get the games that that are new for like, you know, on sale for 20 bucks or 15 bucks, mm-hmm. you know, because they always go down in that price. Like greatest hits or platinum joys. Right. I'm, I don't have a problem with I that. I, I used to do that all the time. I used to hardly ever buy used games. I used, because I had a bad experience with buying a few used games and they, they didn't work and you, I don't know. It's just, it used to be a lot of hassle. It's not so much now, but, but yeah. I know a lot of people's gonna hate that, but <laughs> I am. I'm gonna hate it. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, we were talking about the always on thing. Yeah, I've, always online. That's a huge issue for me because his internet goes out like all the time. It's it really spotty and it's just stupid. So say my internet has actually gone out for over 24 hours, and they have the another thing that we're gonna talk about is the 24 hour check-in. I guess we could add add it into the always on thing. But uh, what's going to happen? Like, if my Xbox can't check in because my internet's been down all day, which it just was last week, it was off all day for over 24 hours. Uh, we live in a home. I'm not going to be able to play it. Like, it's going to go to check in. It's going to say, "Oh, sorry, you are not online. You cannot play your Xbox." Like, so I, I'm going to be screwed. In places that are even more rural than Oklahoma. Like say like I don't know Montana. <laughs> there's a there's a crap like, ton of rural communities in Oklahoma that cannot get high speed internet. I yeah I can't at my house. I can't like get good good internet at my house. Right. I cannot get cable DSL any of that. I have to have satellite. So 
people like me who live like in the sticks, or even more so, they either have satellite, they, like, they have satellite, or, or they, they don't have internet at all. They have dial it. Yeah, and so and you're not going to be able to use dial. You won't even right? be able to use the console because, like, from what we've heard, you have to like connect to Xbox Live, put your game in, and like insert the code that comes with the game, right? To be even, like to register the game and to be able to play the game in general. So people who are like, oh, I just got this Xbox One, I have internet, I can't use this. It's a good paperweight, I guess. Right. You know? And like LAN like, type stuff, that's like gonna die now, it seems like, because of that. Like I can't go take my Xbox to a friend's house and like, you know, play games anymore <laughs> with people. Like, so I don't, know, I don't know what they're thinking. Yeah, a lot of these choices are really bad. They are. Like, <laughs> really, really bad. They have come out and confirmed that it's not going to have to be online for 24 hours, but it has to check in every 24 hours. So yeah. if it can't check in within that 24 hours, you're screwed. You're not going to be able to play it after it tries to check in until it can check in again. Which, does it do that on its own, or can you, can like, you like, go hey, into an option? check in at this time frame type right. of thing? And another thing... The, the biggest issue for me, which deals with the connect and the always, the always on, there we go. is <laughs> it knows that you're in the room and, and you can you, just say Xbox you. on yep. and it'll come on. And do you know how you log into it? You do not press buttons or anything. It recognizes your face and logs you in. And that scares the crap out of me. I do not want that in my house. Like an invasion of privacy, kind of. I know there's going to be that accept agreement type thing like they have, you know, where it's like, blah, 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 don't make nukes with iTunes. You know, no one reads that, so let's accept it. And then you're like, okay, cool, now I can play on Xbox. But they're, you know, pervs and Microsoft watching you beat off to whatever. Right. You know, (laughs) squid porn every day. Because, you know, you're going to be able to play Blu-rays on your Xbox, say, if somebody's watching an adult movie or something. They can, like, hear it, watch it with you. Like, yeah. hey, hey, guys, look at this guy. Yeah. And the new Connect. <laughs> another thing I don't like about it is it can see in total darkness. It can see what you're doing in total darkness. HD 1080 it can, it can see your heartbeat through your face. I mean, come on. Why? What, what is that going to offer? They can tell you when your game? period's about to happen. Like... <laughs> When I go to see a movie, like a scary movie, they're saying they're going to use it to heighten the effect of certain emotions or whatever in games, say, like a scary game or something. The movies don't do that. Right. It's all pre-scripted. They, they can still do that in a game and make it effective. They don't need to see my heartbeat. Yeah, <laughs> and just, whether I'm agitated or not playing like, a game. I don't know what they were on when they made these decisions. Like, I can just picture it, too. Like, you know, there's that one guy in, like, the board meeting. He's like, hey, uh, I don't think this is a good idea. And, you know, they just, like, kick him out the window. And <laughs> it's It was just a lot of corporate guys making decisions on this thing. I feel like, yeah, they, these they, guys they're just, business guys. It was business guys. They're completely like out of touch with the consumer. It was not gamers. The way it feels. It was people who want money. Because, I mean, nobody wants a surveillance camera in their home running 24 hours. Nobody does. I, I don't know one person that does. There may be some people that will be oblivious to it when they buy it and not even know that it's doing that. Because it will be doing that. I mean... Yep. Monitoring. At all times. The Microsoft has even said that, you know, they're going to see how people are experiencing their... Their, it's like they're yeah, their stuff. like they're trying to make their games better with it by seeing how you play and all that, and also monitoring to see if like you're pirating games and crap. It's like yeah, what that, dude, that, that, is, that is not for me. That is the biggest issue with the new Xbox is the Connect. I I don't want it. I didn't want the other Connect. The other Connect. I don't want this one. Horrible. So if Microsoft wants to sell me a new Xbox One, they're going to make one without Connect <laughs> because I won't buy it no. with Connect because I don't want it. I have no use for it. I don't. I don't want to play my games with my hands moving around like this, and I don't want it to recognize my face and log me in that way. Mm-hmm. I don't want it watching my family doing whatever we do in our home. I don't want it listening to us. I just don't. That's just a bad <laughs> deal. I don't know 
how how they're, how are they going to get away with it? That's I mean, I guess with the user agreement, they're already getting away with it. With but that's just experience. ridiculous. Like, I don't understand. They've already like a, caught a federal type spying on people with the other connect. So I mean, and who's to say they're not going to sell rights for third parties like say the government to watch you in your home? I, mean, uh, I, I know that sounds paranoid, <laughs> but. Yep, That's it a is. perfect opportunity for Big Brother it is. to be looking at everybody in the United States. Perfect. Because of what is it, the the Patriot Act or whatever? It yeah. gives them the right to do anything they want for to, to find terrorists. I because wouldn't be have surprised. your phone line to listen. Mm-hmm. I mean, who's going to say Microsoft's not going to let them the do Microsoft's not going to let them do If the government that? came to Microsoft beforehand while they're making this console with the idea. With that idea. I, be. I bet that would be something that did happen. Because, you know, just everybody out there, and me and Austin know, nobody wants to play games on the Kinect. Unless, unless no, you're you know, going to play a dance, dance game, game. I mean, or little kids' on. games. That's, that's the only people that oh, UFC to. training. Let's do that. And what cracks me up is the games will say better with Kinect. No. No. <laughs> Not better with connects. <laughs> and I've heard that they're taking that off, that little tagline off on the new games Good. that say better with connect. Because is it better with connect? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we talked about the games already. Um, and a couple of new points that I put down here as we oh, were talking. Backwards compatibility. It's man. not backwards compatible. What the hell? I mean, I know that's not a huge issue for people that sell their old console and all their games to buy a new console. But I don't for get those people, collectors like me, like us, I have my original Xbox, that still and my three hundred and sixty, that still play games from the eighties <laughs> up till now. Yeah, that's huge for us because that Xbox that I have is one of the uh, one of the older ones. I mean, it's it's not a slim. It's gonna break. I'm gonna have to get a new one. Mm-hmm. If I can't fix it. So, not understand. being backwards compatible is. Okay, like, big. I can understand the not backwards compatible with the discs, maybe. But with the downloaded games, right. that the pisses Xbox me Live off. Arcade. That pisses me off because those games that you download from the marketplace, like Super Meat Boy, Castle Crashers, Geometry Wars, stuff like that, that right? you don't have physical copies. Of. Yeah, you don't have the real game. You bought them online. And so they should be able to, like, go cross-platform. You would imagine that they should be able to play on the Xbox One. So just having on the 360, but you've bought it, and now the only time you can play it is if you have literally your console with you, you know, at all times, just to play that game. It's like, why? So how simple would it be just to... Here's, another here's your question. games. Just put them on there. If you're always online, why don't you just use my online games that I bought, you know? Here's like, another question like, for that. Uh, when Microsoft stops supporting the 360 and takes all of the online features off of it like they did for the original Xbox, and you can't yeah, log into Xbox Live play. on it, <laughs> you, are you going to be able to play your XBLA games? You, you'll be able to play them if you're not connected, because you're able to now. But say something happens with like your hard drive, or you get a new hard drive and you transfer, um, sometimes games like Rock Band, for me, like I download a bunch of songs, right? When I get new, like, well, okay, I can't play some songs if I'm not connected online, for sure. So, if they take that away, I won't be able to play, like, <laughs> you know, 150 songs that I downloaded, right. which will piss me off, because right. each of those are, like, how many Microsoft points? Like, you know, 100-something each, so that'll piss me off. Um, but sometimes you have to, like, re-download a game, say it, like, gets corrupted, because you switch to your hard drive. Like, uh, Castle Crashers is like, oh, no, I can't play it now. I need to go re-download it. I won't be able to. <laughs> okay, another, That's crappy. Another issue is how they're going... The, how, they, how they treat the indie game developers. Yep. Like, uh, Sony has uh, reached out to the indie game developers and are going to let them publish their own games for the PS4, from what I've read. Welcome. And Nintendo is basically I mean, doing the same journey. thing. Was Nintendo's wanting a lot of indie developers that develop cell phone apps and stuff to develop games for just the tablet, I, I'm guessing. Uh, 
and Xbox is going to make any developers go through a middleman, a, a third, a, another publisher, and that, that's just crappy for for those guys because you know they don't make, they probably don't make. Some of them make good money, but not all of them, and they're not going to be able to afford to go through someone to help publish their game with more finances. And then uh, the publisher is going to get a piece of their pie whenever mm -hmm. they get any sales from it. So you know that, that just kind of sucks for indie developers and. Indie games are becoming huge now. Like, they really are. I, I don't play a lot of them, but I know a lot of people do. Uh -huh. Like the cell phone gaming market and the tablet gaming market is becoming huge. And if the the home consoles don't conform to the to that to those kind of games, then they're, they're, they're gonna. They, I have a feeling they're gonna get left behind in a few years because. Tablets and cell phones are becoming as almost as powerful as your home console. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen a lot of games that look really good that look like they could be running on a 360 or PS3. Like they had um, uh, what game was that that Tyler had? I don't remember, but it was like a game that Infinity Blade. It might have been that on the iPad on the. It was iPhone. Some, it was something that it's an actual game on like a console, mm -hmm. but then they. Made it onto a you know iPhone tablet type thing where you swipe to like hit people and stuff, stuff like that, and, like Indie Run, no, or what's um, it called, uh, Tibble Run, and right. uh, Angry Birds. And, I mean, there's a lot of uh, indie game developers developing like a full blown console experience for your tablet yeah. or and your cell phone. You can use a Bluetooth controller for it, just like say like a 360 style controller. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if uh, if Xbox is going to be treat or if Microsoft is going to be treating indie developers this way, it's another way they're going to lose sales. I, I believe because indie games are cheap. Like to, yeah, yeah, they're just cheap. Some of them are free to play, yeah. which I mean that can be a bad thing too if there's a lot of in-game purchases. But some of them don't have that many, and uh, yeah, that's going to be a huge issue if they don't. Speaking of developers, uh, tell them what you told me about uh, Dice and Battlefield when Xbox came to them about. Oh yeah, this was a, a news story that I'd heard. Of. Apparently, I'm, I'm guessing Sony and Microsoft had came to uh, EA and Dice, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure EA was all for this, but. Uh, Dice. Dice being the good company they are. So apparently, you know, Microsoft and Sony wanted to implement motion controls in the next Battlefield game. And I said, no, we're, we're not going to do it. They said, if it's not going to make the game any better, we don't want to do it. So, yeah. No matter how much money they threw at them to develop for, say, the Kinect or the PlayStation Move, mm -hmm. they were like, no. We just want to make a, a good gaming experience. They knew the Kinect was bad. Right. So they were like, no. Alright, so let's sum up what we saw and what our plans are for the future of the Xbox in our own words. I guess I'll go first. Want me to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Okay, so being a true Xbox fan for a long time and loving... Xbox exclusive games. It really bums me out. It makes me sad that I won't be, you know, experiencing the Xbox like he, like I've known it to be anymore. Um, unless they make some drastic changes here pretty quick, um, I won't be buying it right when it comes out. And I say right when it comes out because eventually I am gonna have to buy it just because of. One franchise, two maybe if they keep it going, but I don't think so. But Halo is like my baby, <laughs> so I know they're going to be developing, you know, Halo Five here in the next few years. So I'm going to have to get the Xbox One to be able to play that game. It's going to be an expensive one game to play, <laughs> but I know they're going to come out with Halo Six also. So we have to do that, and then if they keep Gears of War going. You know, but I don't think they are. Um, with Clifford B. Living, leaving and 
the new one just you know coming out of judgment I don't think it's gonna go any farther but with Halo I'm gonna have to buy it um, but just as an overall gaming experience it's it's not what I'm looking for um, I will be buying the Wii U for sure uh, because I'm a huge you know avid Nintendo fan uh, they're my tried and true you know like they they can do no wrong in my opinion and if I could work for them I would be like set for life <laughs> that's like my dream job um, you know Zelda Mario you just can't you just can't go wrong with that so I'll be buying that and then <laughs> realistically if I want like a, a newer gen console I'll probably be getting the PS4 I, I really will I had a PS2 back in the day I loved it I never had a PS3. Um, I wanted one, but there for you know a few years when the Xbox 360 came out, I didn't just because I was you know a fanboy. But now I would like to have one because uh, I know there is good games for it and it's a good console. And then the PS4, now that they're actually you know the front runner and they're probably gonna smoke the Xbox No One. <laughs> In sales, uh, and they're actually looking towards, you know, like, hey, we have games. I'll probably be buying that. So, I was unimpressed. I would give, like, that press conference reveal type thing, like, I don't know, a two or three out of ten, <laughs> I would say. Uh, I'm hoping that E3 is a lot more spectacular. And that's about it. Well, in my opinion, Everything that I saw in that press conference did did not impress me at all. Like that was the worst game console reveal I've ever seen in my whole life. Um, of course, in its current iteration, I will not be getting an Xbox One, no matter what game they make for it, because I don't want someone else spying on my family and myself. Uh, the way they could sell me an Xbox One is if they take the Kinect away from it and they take all of those TV features out because I have a Blu-ray player that does pretty much everything that I want it to. I don't have to... I don't have to yell at it. I don't have to wave my arms around at it. I can just press a couple of buttons and I'm good to go. I can watch Netflix on it. I can watch YouTube videos on it. I can listen to Pandora on it. <laughs> what else do you it's need? just a couple of button presses. So much simpler than using hand gestures and talking to it, which I don't want to do. If I'm here by myself, I don't want to be talking at my Xbox. So, yeah. If they take all those TV features away from it and the Kinect and make it make like a, a cheaper version because all of this stuff is going to make it cost quite a bit of money. People are saying that they're going to release it for $400. I don't think so. No. It is being marketed as a piece of entertainment equipment, not a games console. Yeah, it's not going to be $400. <laughs> It may be $400 with a two-year contract, like some people are saying, for Xbox Live. But yeah, uh, I'm not a I'm not a fanboy of really any console right now. Like, it, I could care less what I'm playing it on. I, I have a 360. I have a Nintendo Wii. I have some older game consoles. Uh, I've got uh, the only one I don't have is a PS3. Pretty much, um, there's a, a few other ones I don't have. But out of all of the the, I guess you'd call them last gen systems, I, the only one I didn't get was a PS3. But uh, I don't hate Sony. I, I have a PS2. I have a PS1. Um, you know, I, I have the original Xbox. I have an Xbox 360. I don't hate Microsoft either. I don't hate Nintendo like a lot of people that play that are that are like hardcore Xbox or Sony fans they they hate Nintendo because they say that Nintendo's for kids. It's not. Um, of course Nintendo markets to kids, but there are a lot of games that are are a lot of fun that aren't just for children. My best experiences of 
gaming or Zelda games. Pretty much, yeah. My, my favorite my franchise. franchise. I, yeah. And the Mario games are, are really good, too. Like, Mario Galaxy is probably one of my favorite games I've played. It would have to be in my top five. Um, yeah, I will probably be getting a Wii U sometime later this year. Maybe. <laughs> Depending on our finances. Nice holidays. Uh, just hope that they announce a lot of good games for it at E3. And uh, that's the only console for this this new generation of consoles that everyone knows for sure that you can buy used games and play it on it and they're not going to be spying on you with a camera because that, that's another issue with the PS4. It's going to come with the uh, it's going to come with a camera. It's going to have two lenses to, yeah. to detect your controller. Yeah. So I, I don't know if they're going to be using that in a similar style. I, I doubt it. I think it's going to be almost kind of like a sensor bar type thing that it's going to be kind of like the eyes a bit. I guess, or the way the move works. I don't know. But yeah, as far as the motion controls, I mean, the Wii, the Wii motion controls aren't that bad once they figure out that, you know, a lot of people don't want to, to like stand up while they're playing video games and flail their arms around. You know, like if you're playing Zelda Skyward Sword, you just have to go like this. You don't have to like go like this. And you can just flick your wrist to, to blog. I mean, that's not bad. I, I would probably prefer it on, on a regular controller, but, you know, they, they actually did the motion controls right on that game. And to, to use it like a pointer for one screen, I, I like that aspect of it. Like, uh, say in Mario Galaxy, you kind of have to point at some of the targets on the screen to go from place to place in zero gravity situations and stuff like that. It's, that's not that big of a deal, but like with a with a connect, you know, you're not really holding anything, you're not interacting with it, you just kind of you feel moving around. Awkward. If the game, if it doesn't recognize what you did, then oh well, right. Sucks to be you. <laughs> yep. And I haven't really heard of any good games for the connect that anybody has talked good about, except for the dancing games, which I don't dance, so that's not for me. So yes, I I will not be getting an Xbox One. Yeah. Unless they change it. <laughs> Hear that Microsoft? <laughs> get your shit. Together. They need to make a cheaper version of it and cut all that crap out. Yeah, just get rid of the bullshit. The hardcore gamers edition. Make yeah of the Xbox. Make it to where it plays games and that's it. I right. don't even care about anything else. I like think. literally. I could just just games and being able to play games with other people online. Go back to the Xbox. One style, get it? Haha. <laughs> the original Xbox, yeah. Go back to like that, and I'll be completely happy. New graphics, new games, done. I'm now, cool. now I'm that cool. we've talked about all this stuff, you know, it, it just dawned on me why they're doing this. They want to compete with um, Apple TV, and they, oh my gosh, just like they're why competing, we not that? they're competing with. Uh, they they want to compete with uh, Apple and Apple yeah. in the uh, the cell phone market, and there's just no contest. Uh, the iPhone outsells the Windows the Windows phone. phone. Like I, I don't even know how much. I know a lot. A lot. A lot. Say for like every ten thousand people, there might be one Windows phone. So basically, you know, with the Apple TV being as popular as it is, oh. Microsoft are thinking, you know, their own. We can't come out with a standalone. Microsoft TV box because we'll just get killed by Apple and we'll say like a Roku box too is because it's really popular. Yeah. They're like, we're going to make people buy it. Yes. So we're going to put it into our Xbox, our next Xbox. Why did we not? That's it. That, that's the reason. And basically, you're it. probably going to be paying close to a hundred dollars more for the console just for those television features. Yep. I, I would, yep. I would guess, because that's about how much an Apple TV goes for. I've just never. Why do I need you, Xbox One? <laughs> I'm a Blu-ray player. Why do I need you, Xbox One? Uh, yeah. I have a computer, a laptop. Why do I need you? This is Xbox a long video. <laughs> it's gonna take forever to upload. You have to edit it. <laughs> I know. All right. So this has been my thoughts and and Audie's thoughts on 
the Xbox One reveal, you know, we we were excited about it, but Microsoft let us down big time. Um, Hopefully you like some of our points, and like, maybe we said some stuff that you hadn't thought about yet. Right. And if you have stuff that we didn't even mention that could be like something else of why they're doing this or something, let us know in the comments or a video response or link us to one of your videos, something. I mean, you know, we'll talk to you. It's up on Facebook, Twitter, I don't care. Right. Whatever. So, thumbs up to you guys if you stuck through this whole video and are and have made it to this point. And <laughs> yeah, for real. we really appreciate you guys watching this video. Sorry it's so long. Sorry it's long, but thanks a lot.